Hi everybody, welcome to Composition and Visual Design. This is Randy Baker. I'm going to go through a quick video on how to set up the user menu on the Sony FX6. Uh, so we'll go through this in uh, week one in the uh, Tuesday live class as well. But there's an entire assignment in the um, week one um, a layout called uh, 1.6 FX6 user menu. So make sure you go through there. First thing you're going to do is you're going to need to uh, delete three of these settings in your user menu, and you're going to need to add four of the settings. So let me show you how to delete the setting. So let's bring this up here, and this is the menu. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go into my user menu. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on my user menu and go into my user menu, and I'm going to go all the way down to the very end down here. This is how it comes set up. I'm going to change this. And when you go down to the end of this, you don't want to go too far, like I just did. You can always go back up. And I'm going to hit, click Edit User Menus. And uh, so once I click that, then it's going to allow me to go in here and select the ones. So now once I have that click, if I select it and click on that, it's going to give me some options. Delete, Move, and Edit Submenu. And I'm just going to delete that one. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to delete that one. I'm going to do the same thing here, and I'm going to delete that one. So those are the th three that we need to delete. ISO gain EI, proxy record, and simultaneous record. Now we have to add four different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back down here to the bottom, and now instead of it saying edit user menu, it's going to say add item. And so we're going to go in, and the items that we're going to be adding are ND filter. Let's grab that one while we're here. Okay, ND filter, and then go back down and say add item. And we're going to keep going down, and you're going to add, um, let's see here, uh, record format. We're going to add record format and click OK. And then go back down and add another item. We're going to keep going down. Uh, we're going to add ISO gain, which I just saw here. ISO gain EI. And we got one more we're going to add, and that I believe is peaking. And that's all the way down here at the bottom. So let's go see if we can find peaking. It's in here. It's just way down here at the bottom. Format output marker peaking. There we go. We're going to add peaking. So now we've got the four. We've deleted the three. We've added the four. And now we're going to move these. So let's go up here to ISO gain, for example. And then if you click on that now, you can go in here and you can click move. Okay. And then you're going to move that all the way up to the very top. That's the very first. So when you hit you move, it's going to put this orange triangle line underneath and make the thing orange. And then you can just move it to wherever you want. We know this is going to be the very first thing. So I'm going to move it all the way up here to the top. And I'm going to click on that. And same thing with base settings. So if you use this as an example, if you go back into this assignment, we have, here's how all the settings looked when you came. Okay, this is what you know, they look like. And then uh, the, here's the 19 settings you're going to have to change. So what you're basically going to do is you're basically going to drag and drop those settings to get the right uh, 19 settings here. And so you can see this uh, base ISO goes below a sign dial. So I'll just go down here and I'll go to base ISO um, and click on that. Uh, oops, and it's not focused. I'm just going to go back up. If you click on the wrong one, um, you can go back up and get out of that. I'm going to go to base setting and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to move it and the base setting goes all the way down below. Uh, um, where was it? Uh, base setting assignable dial. So once I do that, I'm going to go below the assignable dial, and I'm going to move that. And in no particular order, you can move these around. I'll, I'll show you this as I come back up here. Um, my assignable dial. I'm going to add that, and then you can see multifunction dial goes up. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to move it, and I'm going to move that up a couple above assignable button. Right there, you can see that. And then I'm going to grab, go back down here to the bottom and grab ND filter. And I'm going to move that. And I'm going to bring that up. And that's going to go right below record format, which is going to go right under. And it will record. None of those are in the right place. So I'll have to go back and move those. So right now I'm going to take it all the way up to S and Q. S and Q. And I'm going to put it there. Actually, it was below interval record. So I'm going to. Move that back down. Move. I'm going to move that above multifunction. Yep. Okay, right there. 
And then I'm going to go back down and grab Peking. And Peking goes uh, right above Menu. So I'm gonna, just going to move that. And I'm going to bring that up right above Menu. And then I have Zoom, Zebra, Viewfinder, Setting, Format, Media. We want to bring that all the way up to the top. So Format Media is going to be number two. So let's bring that all the way up. Here, Format Media. And then we're going to take Focus down. And Focus is going to go all the way down below Clip Name. And so, uh, clip name right there. Okay, so now we got viewfinder setting, focus, clip name, all file, base setting, assignable dial, assignable button. Let me bring these up. Multifunction dial, ND filter record format so i'm still missing record format let's see if i can find that record format down here at the bottom okay I'll move this and then i'm going to bring all that all the way up slowly and that's going to go right below interval record right there okay so now if i go all the way up here to the top and i look at this i start out with ISO gain, that matches, format media, that matches, SMQ, that matches, interval record, that matches, record format, ND filter, multifunction dial, assignable dial, a button, assignable dial, base setting, all file, clip name format, focus, viewfinder setting, zebra, zoom, peaking, and menu setting. So there you go. That's how you set it all up.